Hello everybody, today we managed to buy a giant wild boar weighing 200 kilograms from Hunters. The four of us barely lifted him onto the table. This boar cost us $715. The first thing to do is to remove a lot of excess fat. We cut off about 15 kilograms. After that, we turned the carcass of the boar onto its back. We cut off the brisket with a knife. We'll substitute in a machete and striking it, cut the bone. Click on the opposite sides of the carcass so that it opens. But now you need to soak this whole carcass in water and salt it. Therefore, we collect a small pool. First, we stretch out the PVC fabric. Then we connect the tubes to it. And assemble the frame itself. Literally just half an hour and the whole pool is assembled. We fill it up with clean water from the well. We do not need a full pool of water. Half is enough. Now you just need a lot of salt, as much as 100 kilograms. We open it. And pour it all into the pool. Using a paddle, we stir the salt until it dissolves into the water. It took us an hour to dissolve 80 packs of salt in a pool of water. And now we just push the carcass of our boar into the super salty water. We will soak it for a whole day. In order for the meat to be properly salted and for the excess blood to come out, we pull the cover on top so that nothing gets into the pool during the whole time. Well, let's see what happened during the day. The water drained all the blood from the meat. Now we pull out the carcass. And wipe it down with paper towels. Now we tear off the foam from the ribs. In order to cook this boar on the bonfire, Dad came up with an uncomplicated design. By the way, my parents released a new video on their channel in which they cooked shapulaf and compared it with a restaurant. As soon as you finish watching this video, follow the link in the description and watch it. The pipe structure is ready. We put it under the boar. First, we tie the upper legs to the pipe of the wire. and then the lower ones. We pull the carcass to the edge of the table. From above in the middle, we press in another fastening. From below, we tighten the nuts first with our fingers, then tighten it with a wrench. Then we'll add another similar amount to the upper part of the carcass. For maximum reliability, we press the neck mount from above, since you know it's really heavy. Now what we have to do is fix the ribs with the help of a wire, so that we don't have to tighten it later and we're always open. Now we take such a special tool and drive it into the ground, thereby punching a hole of the desired diameter. It honestly didn't seem that complicated, but now the temperature is below zero outside and the ground is breaking through very slowly. It took us as much as an hour and a half to punch a hole even less than a meter deep. We pull out all the extra dirt, And at an angle, we hammer a pipe with a slightly larger diameter into the pit. We bury the hole.
and install the structure. We're done. Everything is securely held in. We cook our boar on a live fire. To do this, you need to prepare some firewood. We cut it with a chainsaw. To light the fire, we're gonna use empty packs of salt. And then spread out the thin twigs on top. Then we ignite all of this. Now we cover the fire with larger firewood. We move the fire closer to the boar itself so that it already begins to cook. Now we cook practically in the open field. Therefore, the wind will blow away the fire and the heat doesn't reach the meat. From the wind, we made a wall of pallets which were covered with a film. Now the fire burns steadily upwards and warms up our boar. It needs to be periodically turned over to the other side. That way it doesn't burn and it's evenly fried. Now we need to prepare the coating in advance. To do this, we take some lemons, cut them, and squeeze the juice directly into the cauldron with our hands. Now we take some oranges. We repeat the same thing with them. Cut and squeeze. Only now we need a lot more of them. Here's a little bit of honey for sweetness. And we'll dilute all this with water. After that, we put the cauldron in the fire and heat our coating. We wait until it boils and then it's ready, but what'll be needed later. Such a huge amount of meat is cooked over a fire for a very long time. We turned the burr over all night, threw in some new firewood, and just sat and talked around the campfire. The next morning, the boar is almost ready. We made a broom like this with herbs. We dip it in the spread and water the meat so that it does not dry out from the inside. And the exact same thing with the other side. In general, another hour of such manipulations, and he is ready. The boar was over the fire for 18 hours, therefore I'm pretty sure that the meat is baked. We cut off the unnecessary wire with pliers, and cut off the lower leg. We put that on the tray, and the other one. Most of all, I want to try the ribs of a wild boar. We also cut them off. And put those on the table. Finally, after three days of work, you can eat and enjoy the results of our work. I can say that the meat has a very rich meat taste, as well as a wild taste and aroma of smoke. It's very tasty. The meat is completely fried and at the same time remains as juicy as possible. Write in the comments what other interesting animal you would like me to cook. Be sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and click on this playlist. There's still a lot of huge food to be cooked. Bye everybody.